WTFNN. Headline News Update. TFNN giving you the mid-morning update. Well, the market was down sharply uh, through the middle of the night, and then before the opening, we began to search higher, and now we have the Dow Jones up 150, the S&P up around 29 handles, and the NASDAQ up 150 handles. Uh, and this was a pretty clear two-day correction that we've had here. Now, folks, there's been a lot of news about these tanks that are coming in. I don't follow the news at all. Uh, these uh, Abraham tanks that are coming to uh, uh, Ukraine. It's going to take several months to get them built and sent over there. Plus, there's going to be a bunch of people uh, going over there to show them how to use that. So when you see the news and what's going on, take it with a grain of salt because uh, it, it's really, really hard to get some of these things uh, done uh, logistically. Now, as far as the markets are concerned, we've only got one market that is down, that's the British pound is down just a tiny bit. And uh, uh, one other market, I believe natural gas is also down. We're gonna be talking about that on my show that comes up here uh, in a minute or so. But the main thing to remember folks is that uh, these markets have been rallying very strongly since uh, mid-October. And uh, that is a good sign. And then we had the higher bottom on December the 13th, also a good sign. And so the shorter term trend is up, the longer term trend is down. Uh, January has historically been a positive month, and it certainly is a positive month because it's uh, doing exactly, you know, what uh, what things are, are happening. So I, I, I'm hoping that, the hoping is a terrible trading word, but it's also a good word for looking positive. But I think that we got a chance, if we break out to the upside, we could see 4,400 in the S&P. It'll still be a lower high than we made at 4,800 back on January 4th. And uh, those are the main things that we're paying attention to. So that's about it from the standpoint of what's going on with the markets. So uh, live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. And we'll see you in just a few minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.